Ah, uh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again. You are in the club, powered by Club Colors. We're coming at you live today. We are live streaming, we are recording, and I might even hop on TikTok live. I don't know. I got a hanker and I'm feeling it today. Remember, In the Club is powered by Club Colors. Club Colors is a full service brand management firm. Anything you can think of that you want to put your logo on, Club Colors is your all-in-one, one-stop shop. But it's about our special guest today. The men of the hour, we're missing one, but we got two. We're gonna start off here with Mr. Spike Engelman. What's up, what's up? What is up? And of course, good to see you. And of course, we've got the one and only Mr. David Horbinko. How fun is it to say that name, Horbinko? That's a hockey name right there, baby. The guy's a hockey player, but he's also representing the Insperity. But it's about the Level Up social networking events extravaganza. We're live from Gold Coast Social, downtown Chicago. Let's get into it. Mr. Engelman, how in the world are you? This is on fire right now. We are live streaming on Twitch. And I got to tell you, man, you got a crew here. This is, a, is this a networking event or a party? What is going on? No, it, it's exciting, man. I mean, it, the attendance that comes out to this, I mean, it, it's, it doesn't even feel like a networking event, right? I mean, we, we have just a great crowd that comes out. It's lively. It's fun. I mean, it's what it's all about, right? It is. You know, what's amazing is you guys started this fairly recently, right, David? How many how many events have you done so far? Uh, I, <laughs> maybe like a half a dozen. I mean, six, six seven, eight. Events. How, how have you been taking it by storm? Because I got to tell you, I see you all over LinkedIn and you've got a very lively crew. I can't imagine you have this many friends, so there must be some value. At least not Dave. Right? <laughs> uh, but, I mean, honestly, it, it, I think it's just the people that come out, right? I mean, we, we try to create this atmosphere where people can come out, enjoy themselves, and then uh, I lost you on the audio, John. There you go. You're good. But, no, um, we, it's, all, it's all about the people that come out, right? I mean, I think people are having fun and like to bring their friends. And then from there, it's like, hey, come out to the next one. And our numbers have just been growing organically. So it, it's so fun to see. It's a beautiful thing. Let's not neglect Mr. Tony Salvage. Who's your partner in this? This is a three-headed crew. You it's started this. Crew, John. It's a yeah, four-headed crew. We have uh, one uh, Carolina that has unfortunately been out on medical leave. Oh my gosh! So well, we'll say a good. prayer. Yeah, we, we know she's sitting sidelines tonight, but she'll probably be watching this right now as we're doing this. Well, uh, what's her name? Carolina Buchek. Carolina Buchek, feel better. And I'm also very jealous that you're in Carolina, but I'm not jealous because I'm here at the Gold Coast Social right now with the Level Up Social Networking events crew. David, uh, what was the vision when you started this? What was the end goal? Every 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 uh, business that gets started, or a networking event, or any type of uh, you know uh, content creation, right? There's always a purpose behind it. What was the greater purpose for you beyond the idea of meeting with fantastic executives and leaders of brands uh, to get them all together? What was the greater purpose? The greater purpose is life is short, and you want to spend it to people that you get to know, like, and trust. And I want to do business with people that I genuinely want to be able to help out. And we felt like something was missing in the networking community in Chicago, in Chicago land, uh, where it was forced. You have name tags, you got to go, you get paid a certain fee, et cetera. Um, you know, it's forced. Uh, and I don't, and I don't want to. I don't want to feel that way. I don't want to be forced to have to do business with somebody just to make a paycheck and high five at the club, John. All I'm trying to do is do business with people that I know, like, and trust, and have an intention behind events where we can build mutually beneficial B two B and real estate professional relationships through Level Up Social Club, and it's about helping to build your inner circle around that. So that's the reason for the no name tags. You're going to have to go out. You're going to have to work the room. But we're also welcoming of uh, folks that uh, maybe aren't super comfortable in a social setting yeah, and have sure. a little bit of fun, a little bit of fun in the process, and build your group. I got my crew. I know who I'm going to go for apparel. I know who I'm going to go for insurance. I know who I'm going to go for financial issues. You got to have a guy or a gal, right? You got to exactly. have your go-to. Exactly. And at the end of the day, it was just like I said, life is short. Uh, I want to be able to enjoy myself. And uh, Spike and I uh, you know, kind of came up with that vision, and it was really about 
bringing good folks together, having a little bit of fun in the process, getting to know each other, yeah. and level up your business. David, by the way, why in the world would anyone need a name tag when you can have a pocket insert or pocket, pocket, pocket scarf, square. pocket square? I mean, my gosh. Daniel George. We are, North. we are leveling up. Look at this guy. Put in, Fashionista over here. We got a mic stand in, in front name. of him. But if you could, you're not catching him on Twitch, but I'm telling you right now, the guy looks handsome. My gosh. Lord. All right, so what is the demographic spike? What are, we're, everyone's welcome. Yep. We're seeing people here from all different backgrounds, different roles, different levels of the org chart. Yep. Everyone's welcome. But what's the demographic that seems to be coming out to this type of networking event. Yeah, so it, it, as you mentioned, right, everyone is welcome, but I think the niche that we found with our group is the group of people that their experience, they have their, like, they're established in their business, right? Yeah. But they're still out there trying to find people that they can, like, trust and build those relationships with. And I, we felt like the, the, the demographic that we're targeting in that sense has not been approached. We've seen demo, like other networking events that people that have been referring each other for the last three decades. Right? Yeah. And, and so here, it's a good mix between all business industries, and we're actually starting to get into some other things, but yeah, I mean, call it, if you want to put, put some real like numbers on it, 26 to 40, Yeah. Uh, the people that, hey, let, let's rock. Man. People on the climb. Right, exactly. On the climb. Exactly. Hey, listen, I want to apologize to everybody, but you know what? I don't want to apologize. I understand you hear background noise, but that's what it's about. This is a live event. And uh, if you can't feel that energy, I mean, if that's not inspiring you, that it's you need to get, get to the louder, next man. event. Now, it's you guys, you guys do these once 100 a month. Attendees, 100, 100 attendees, attendees tonight, for a networking this is crazy event. for a networking event. It's off the. We hook. started basically six to eight months ago. It's fantastic. We touched the nerve in Chicago, John. You touched the nerve in Chicago. There's no doubt about it. And let's let's uh, let's be honest. The level up social networking events is a side gig for you. It's an ancillary gig. It's something that you are doing because you have a greater purpose and you saw an opening in the marketplace that you wanted to jump into. David, let's talk about how you're making your living and how you're impacting people. And those of you that are listening, follow D David Horbinko on LinkedIn. He posts every single day. <laughs> every day he's doing a walking video from the clean streets to beautiful streets of Chicago. He's giving you beautiful scenery in the background. He's wearing something sharp and he's telling you about how you can drive your business. He's an HR advisor, right? He's about culture. He's about building organizations. Tell us what you do for real. You don't just throw parties for a living. <laughs> Well, maybe one day if Spice got his way, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm an HR advisor for a company called Insperity. Have you heard of Insperity? Do you watch golf? Are you aware of business management? Are you aware of driving productivity and building culture? I mean, Insperity, let's go. Inspiring prosperity. That's Inspiring prosperity. You know, your brand purpose has the same brand purpose of Club Colors. In that, uh, or the same word, inspiring. Yes. Right. Yes. It's all about inspiring. Absolutely. You can't motivate. You got to inspire. Let's Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So tell us what the role is like. Uh, well, it's a great role. Uh, I advise companies anywhere between five and five thousand employees all across the country on how to take care of their people. Uh, we're one of the pioneers of the HR outsourcing industry. We'll either aug augment your current HR department by delivering a team of professionals headlined by an HR specialist to help get you from where you are. To where you want to go. Um, you got 40 employees, you're growing, you're backed, you want to add some people. We're going to help put things in place to do your administration and your compliance, focus on your product or service, get to the next level. And then on the second piece about it, we have an option to tap into uh, our large uh, medical and workers comp plan, similar to a Fortune 100 style organization like a Coca-Cola or Walmart. That's an option. But mainly we're an HR outsourcing organization. Um, and part of my job is to go out and meet great folks like this, and uh, and I'll give it up to Spike for uh, for really, you know, spearheading um, what we're trying to do here, and uh, and then what he does in, in a similar industry. I knew that I love Spike. You know, David, you put it really, really well. It's about inspiring people. Every organization has a brand mission. Every organization has products and services and solutions that they provide. And every business has technology. But at the end of the day, we are human beings and we live in a world that is run by fantastic people. And the fact that Insperity makes its, its mission to drive people to the next level on behalf of organizations is something worth knowing. So please reach out to David. 
Get to the next event, for God's sake, so you can see him in person. You got to check out that pocket square, for God's sake. He'll probably have another one, maybe April, a Paisley April, one. April 12th at uh, Chalet. April 12th at Chalet. Look at that. Spike, tell us what you do in real life. You don't just throw parties. You don't just throw major events in the Chicagoland area that everyone should drive their car to right now. You actually are doing something for a living. Yeah. Tell us what you do. Yeah, contrary to the name, right? You think with the name Spike that it would be just uh, like a party. Yeah, I night. thought you were a wide receiver. Ah, uh, yes. This is John Morris, host of In the Club, powered by Club Colors. I am so excited today to talk to you about our sponsor for this episode, SalesCast. SalesCast is the operating system for the B2B podcasting community of sales, marketing, and revenue professionals. They have an inclusive online community, courses, tutorials, events, guest matching, and even world-class managed production services. Their mission is to connect 100 million sellers to the power of story. Thanks again, SalesCast. Enjoy the show. That, that, that's, that was my old life. You know, that was back in uh, the heydays, right? Uh, but yeah, man, so similar to today, right, where I work in a very industry-related that's very um, that's meant for relationships. So in my real job, I work at 360 Benefits. 360 Benefits. Look it up right now on social. Look up their website, 360 Benefits. That's where it's at. Spike, what do you do there? So I'm a health insurance broker, right? Okay. So we work specifically with companies that are trying to take it to the next level in terms of their health care. So. How does one take it to the next level with their health care? I can understand the taking it to the next level with your sales and marketing, your revenue gen, your demand gen. How does one take it to the next level with their health care? So, so here's the thing, John, right? In the healthcare care space, it's a complex, it's emotional, it's, it's a very difficult like, aspect. Very of competitive. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of folks doing it. So here, here's how we do it, right? A lot of times in our industry, it's a very slow moving type of thing where think of it in terms of like a, a grocery store, right? You have four big grocery stores, like your Walmart, your Jewel, Target, Mariano's. In my industry, you have to go through somebody like me. You have a family of three kids. They're going to pay $500 a month and we're going to go through Jewel and you're going to get a bunch of groceries, okay? Got it. So what we do is you might not like someone's groceries. Right? You might have a kid that is a vegetarian or something like that. I don't eat those fire Cheetos. <laughs> There you go, right? Not good for a 47-year-old man, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so what we, what, what we do, right, is we'll take it and we're going to go ahead and, John, and look at your family and say, hey, you know, let's customize what you're going to take out of these pieces of like the groceries, what your family likes, and rather than spending $500 a month, let's customize it to what you guys want. It's now $250 a month. And then from there, like, we can go in and really create it to what you're looking for, right? So, so you're cutting out all of the ancillary BS, hidden costs, the miscellaneous costs on the P&L, exactly. and you're customizing it specific to the needs and wants exactly. of the individual. Yep. I'll, I'll be take it one 360. Step further, right? <laughs> yeah, no, you're spot on. And I'll take it one step further, right? So in our market, people get complacent and they take that 10% increase every single year because they yeah. don't know about it. We're going to go ahead and have that customized approach for these companies that, hey, let's dive into our demographic. If I have a high diabetes, right? Let's go ahead and hold on to how we can help those people. Like, it's not a one size fits all for healthcare. Everyone's yes. got different healthcare no. needs. And we're so specialized in niche that we can come in and do that analysis and make sure that people are effectively going after their healthcare needs rather than just a big blanket statement. So your differentiator is the customization, which ultimately is a cost saver for the individual. Exactly. Which then makes the brand that decided to utilize you very, very human focused. Yep. They're focusing on the bottom line of their employees. How special is that? Exactly. That's gotta make you feel great. We're a boutique, John. We're not just some big name that's out there that you get lost in the shuffle. Yep. We're, we're with you and we're that extension of your benefits. Team. Let's we're be honest, there people. is a place for marketing to the masses, but there's a wonderful place for those boutique operations yep. that are really uh, honing in on premium service and focusing on the individual. Exactly. It's a great thing. Yep. So, David, tell us the differentiator for you. What's the differentiator? There's a lot of management consulting firms out there in the world, David. There's a lot of HR firms. There's a lot of coaches. There's a lot of companies out there. What's the differentiator besides having Jim Nance as your spokesperson? <laughs> what's the differentiator 
for Insperity. By the way, your CEO is off the hook amazing, too. Yeah, he's, an, uh, he's a good guy. Uh, he actually came I love uh, his haircut. He's bald with a beard, beautiful <laughs> like me. I'm halfway there, John. I'm yeah. halfway there. You got it. <laughs> oh, you're more than half, baby. Can, can you even see David <laughs> on the live stream when I'm talking to our glare? Another bald guy. <laughs> you know what? I would tell you this. Level up, 360 benefits, club colors, and Sparity has something similar in the sense that our differentiator is a premium service offering yep. around our service model. Um, that's our differentiator, right? We pay our people the most. We invest the most in our technology. You know, are we? Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna charge them more than most, but uh, hey, we look. sell we sell Ferraris. Uh, but what we charge and what we cost are two different things. But at the end of the day, it's about a premium service offering. It's folks that are not looking for a call center. They're looking for an actual person, a person that's invested in their business and yeah. invested in what they want to do. Because ultimately, our mission is to help businesses succeed so that communities prosper. And I can relay that to what 360 does, what Club Colors does, and certainly what Level Up Social Club does. So the, again, the energy in here as people continue to pile in, I think we passed the 100 person mark. We gotta be at about 120 right now. <laughs> the drinks this are flying. Uh, this, is, this is off the hook. Uh, and, and by the way, I mean, you're doing this monthly, but really the, the advertising for this really started about five or six days ago. And the social, the social content that has been uh, produced is getting a pretty good reaction. You guys are loved in the Chicagoland area. I love you. Yeah. No, Thanks, it's man. It's exciting, man. It's it's a lot of just the group, right? I mean, we're, we're bringing fun people together that all like to hang out. And so it turns into, hey, I'm going to this event next tomorrow. Let's do it. And so a lot of times we broadcast our events a couple days beforehand, and this is the turnout we get. So it, it's so fun, man. It's exciting. Spike, you've told us about your uh, differentiator as it relates to 360. Tell us a little bit about you as a human being. What is the greater purpose that's driving you every day? You know, uh, being being a broker um, is kind of like being a sniper, man. Uh, right? I've never like had that comparison you, before, but I you, like it. You eat what you kill, baby. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, but what's the greater purpose of what you're trying to achieve for your clients, with your clients? Yeah. No, that, that's a great question. And for your family. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, I, I think it comes down to, to one thing, and I think it's leaving a legacy in, in the sense that we want to help people, right? And that's part of the reason why we started this with Level Up. It's why I'm in a relationship-driven business that is, it's an emotional spot of healthcare. So if I can leave a, a legacy and an impact on people that I did good in the world, yeah, I'm, I'm helping my clients, I'm helping people better their business here, um, just really being that, like, that person that can connect the dots for people you know that's ultimately what drives me and I think that's part of the reason why our, our work our social work out here not social work but our, our social group here yeah works so well it is kind of like social work I've helped some people uh, I hope some people get into the building I helped a lady across the street who ended up coming here. It was a little bit like a social work did, environment. Did you video too? I know it was it was fantastic. <laughs> Welcome to the city John. <laughs> yes so, ladies and gentlemen, you have two up-and-coming, on-the-rise, vibrant young executives on the climb that have a secondary business, and we are live from the Gold Coast Social right now. Where's the next show, and what's next month? What should folks look for? How do they, how do they look you up? How do they sign up for the next show? Go, David. Uh, so, it's the second Wednesday of every month. You can go to levelupsocialclub.com, but you could also follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. You know what's beautiful is uh, when we decided that we should probably collaborate a little bit on this craziness that we're doing right now, I had to quickly look at, I'm a travel baseball coach, so I had to qu quickly look at my schedule. Yes. Wednesdays <laughs> are clear, baby. Let's yeah, go. Baby. Oh, every month. Let's, Let's go. go. Also, Let's go. Saddle up. <laughs> The next one is set Wednesday, April 12th at Chalet in Chicago, 228 West Chicago Avenue, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Wednesday, Wednesdays. All right, tell us, each of you, tell us one thing. Spike, I'll start with you. Tell us one thing that, if, if, that people should know about you that would shock them. On the side, I produce and DJ. Yes, baby! You got a bar mitzvah, you got a wedding. Yep. Got, Spike is your guy. Video. Let's I'm go. Live, Let's go. You're coming to my summer party, my block party in my <laughs> yeah. neighborhood. It's going to be fire. Said, though, I charge a heavy premium. You know? I know. Well, guess what? 
you could do me a favor, you know, since we're doing this thing, you know, maybe throw me a couple songs. A couple two tree That's songs. Right. How about it? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, tell us one thing that would absolutely shock us to know about you. Uh, I was a piano player and a saxophone player when I was uh, young. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The multi-talented, you know. Yeah. The jazz band has come together. We're getting the band yeah. back together over here. Look at us. Yeah. That, that's the next stage of level up. You well, know, he can lay down the track, then you scratch it up, and, you know, I'll do my shuffle dance. Right. Hey, we'll, we'll get you on the mic, you know, we'll get you singing in there, too. Let's John. go. I can do a little singing. I can do a little singing. All right, so what we're going to do here, for those of you live on Twitch, we've got about 150 people here now. They're pouring in. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. If you're in the Chicago area, scratch that. If you're in Iowa, Wisconsin, <laughs> Michigan, you should plan on being down here next uh, Wednesday or uh, uh, next month on a Wednesday. S book the travel now. I said take a kite. You might want to take a sled or something. I don't know. Charge that scooter up. But uh, get down here for the event. What we're going to do is we're going to do like a speed dating type of thing. I think we're going to get the owner of the club on here. Yes. At some point, he's going to come in. We're going to meet the owner of the club. We've got the fabulous ladies, Nicole Berthold and Char Guthrie from Design Lab that are going to join us. They're going to rock one of the mics, the third mic position. They're going to rotate. We're going to have somebody in the two seat here that is going to uh, tell us all about their business. I hope that you're entertained. I hope you could feel the energy, and I hope that you see us next time. We're having a blast. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for allowing us to record here today and for collaborating with Club Colors and for the mission that you have. It's great purpose, and I gotta tell you, I've been to a lot of marketing events, and most of them I can hear myself breathe. I can't hear anything right now, and I got <laughs> headphones on. This is off the hook. What a lively, good-looking group of people. My gosh. Now, notice how John didn't look at us when he said the good-looking part. He's well, like, he's uh, looking out into the crowd. He's yeah. looking out into the crowd. But I went like this. What a lively, <laughs> eye contact, lively, good-looking group of people there are here. Now I'm looking at Shar and Nicole. They are superstars. All right, folks. John, thank you so much Fantastic. for coming. Thanks, thank you. Really, really appreciate, appreciate you. you. One last time, Insperity and 360. Benefits, baby. 360 Benefits. Look it up. Get online and check them out. Look, you don't have to be the one that buys from them, but you certainly know Carol and HR that might. Right? So go tell her. Right? Exactly. You know, Absolutely. You know Bob, the VP of uh, Benefits. Go tell Bob. Send them our way. Be an influencer. Maybe they'll give you a kickback or they'll let you out at the next event. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they'll buy you a drink. John, thanks so much, man. We appreciate it. All right. You. Let's, bring up you, the, let's bring up another guest. Enjoy the show. Appreciate Cheers. You, Having a great time. Who's coming on with me? Nicole? Shar? Who's coming on? We got to fill the time here. <laughs> we got time. We got to fill. By the way... In the Club Powered by Club Colors is on Apple, Spotify, and the Club Colors YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, we've got uh, previous episodes. What we do is we bring on executives, leaders, influencers from all different industries, and we have a little bit of fun. We call it uh, edutainment, where we educate and entertain at the same time. It looks like we've got another guest coming on. Look at him. We've got, is Alan Stern coming on? Let's go. Take a seat here in the two position. Hop up in the two position. Alan Stern. Alan and I go way back, not that far back, but far enough where I know. Check this guy out. Uh, is everyone here has got a pocket square on there? You got to get in there on the mic. We're live on Twitch. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? How we doing? I am just hoping and praying that one day my hairline is as good as this gentleman's. I mean, look at this hairline. Look at this. Look at that, man. Everyone, I'm sorry in the back for the glare from the ring light coming off of my forehead. Mr. Stern, by the way, if you're out in the, in the local area or out in Schaumburg or the greater Schaumburg area or Chicago, of course, Alan is a premier advisor for motor vehicle delivery, okay? And we're going to call it that because he doesn't sell you a car. He advises you into a great decision so that you feel great about the decision that you made after purchasing a car. Tell us about a little bit about what you do, and then we'll get into some of the side work that you're doing because you have become quite the dynamic speaker, and you're teaching people how to become a one-man content machine. Is that what it is? Yes, sir. All right, so tell us about where you're at right now and what your role is. For starters, man, I just want to say I really appreciate the kind words. Cheers. Regarding car sales, here's the way that I see it. If you were to go on Google right now and type in what percentage of people dislike buying a car, it's a study that actually happened, and 87% of the world dislikes buying a car. Isn't that a shame? It's 
crazy. But I view that as a huge opportunity. And yes. the reason why is because if I can show you how to be part of that small 13% that enjoys it and deliver an experience you'll brag about, I've got a customer for life. So I've said for years, I don't sell cars, I sell relationships. That's a beautiful thing. How many folks out there have a go-to when it comes to a mechanic, a go-to when it comes to HVC, uh, VAC, HVAC? Yeah, that's what it is. How many have a go-to, right? You need to have a go-to that you can trust when it comes down to purchasing the car, which you're gonna do probably every three, four, five, six years, right? To have somebody who is in the space, you're not leaving the space anytime soon. In fact, if I had to predict the future, you're gonna own your own dealership at some point. Um, but how beautiful is that to have somebody that after the first purchase, you could go back three years later, look him in the eye and go, Alan, do me right again. It blows my mind. It's the second biggest purchase most people ever make. Yes. Yet very few people have a car salesman on speed dial. Let me ask you. It, it, you got a mortgage broker on speed dial. I guarantee that. The first biggest purchase you're going to make. Why wouldn't you have one on your second? It blows my mind. And here's the other thing, too. I'm looking around this room. There's probably 70, 80 people here so far. And I'm no, I think it's 120. 120? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely. If you look at the pack there, the back is filled. It's a packed house. And I'm willing to bet... If I were to scan the room and look at every business card that's here, I'm not going to find another car sale. No. It blows my mind. The fact that you're out marketing is very, very non-traditional for your role. The way that I see it is most salespeople focusing on adding to their business. Hey, I want to sell one car. But the mm -hmm. thing is, you do something like this, you do a podcast like this, and you get visible in the community. Now, all of a sudden, you're in 500 places at once. The that's right. That somebody says the word car, hey, you got to talk to Alan. He does business with integrity, and that's just the way that I like to do things. It's absolutely fantastic. So tell us a little bit about what the heck happened, what inspired you to get up in front of people and start doing the speaking engagements that you're doing, because I see you all over LinkedIn, you're all over Instagram, you're all over Facebook. By the way, follow Alan Stern, uh, A-L-A-N-S-T-E-R-N, Alan Stern. He is the one-man content machine, and he's teaching people, small business owners, mid-sized executives, and big corporate executives who are scared to death, petrified, to create a social uh, profile, to create a personal brand. And you're teaching them how to do it without big costs, how to do it on your own, and how to leverage your thought leadership and your personal brand to drive your career and drive awareness. What inspired you to do that? And what gave you the guts to say, you know what, I'm gonna turn this into a business? Great question. So here's what's interesting. The majority of the world knows me as a car guy. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's been in the business for 12 years. But before there was the car salesman, there was the DJ. My <laughs> business journey started in 2008 when I was a spiky-haired teenager rocking the Jersey Shore look and had one goal in life, and that was simply to get paid for blasting music. I love it. So I've always had to learn how to make the phones ring really without spending any money. Yeah. Fast forward a little bit, I get into the car business, and it's a commission-only role. So you now, eat what you kill. The, the, the way that I see it is social media at the end of the day, love it or hate it, it's simply a tool. And the fact that you are either using it or it is using you. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how it's using you, ask yourself, like, why is it that Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn are billion-dollar companies, yet they're free? Yes. Because they use your data and sell it to advertisers. Mm -hmm. But what I am doing is I use it as a tool to meet my customer where they're at. And here's where they're at. They're Literally, right there on the phone. They're scrolling, scrolling. mindlessly on Facebook yep. because people go on social media to be entertained. While but, watching Netflix, but not really watching Netflix. Basically. Yeah. So what's interesting is if people are there to be entertained and you as a business owner are there to sell, there's a disconnect. Yes. But what if you can make marketing that's entertaining that sells without any expense? So what I do is I show people how to make memes, gifts, all entertaining, but with a business spin on it and cost you no money. Now, we've heard that saying that we do business with those that we know, like, and trust. Yes. Trust is going to come from the next three things that I go over. I show you how to take just words, like a, 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 a text-only review on Google and turn it into a cool graphic so more people can see it because nobody can sell you better than a satisfied customer. Amen to that. Graphics and audiograms are what I show people how to do, and that is basically education-based marketing. And the way that I see it, I'm not planning on leaving the car business anytime soon, but my target customer is a self-employed business professional, which is all who is here with us today. Absolutely. And if I can show them how to win in their business and change their financial situation, where now 
they're in a position to ditch their economy car and get one of the luxury cars that I sell. Who else would they ever buy a car from? Absolutely. So where can people find you, Alan? Where are you selling cars right now? Uh, what, what dealership? And by the way, just because he's at a location, you know, uh, the way that the market has changed with technology, you could buy a car from anywhere and with the delivery process uh, that dealerships use now, uh, I mean, the world is open up now. So even though you might be hearing this from, you know, two hours away from his dealership, he's still an option to, to be an advisor to. 100%. So to directly answer that, I, I sell cars at McGrath Lexus of Westmont. Okay. About five minutes away from Oak Brook Mall. If you live close by, I can just bring the car to you for a test drive. There you go. Coming to us. If you prefer to do something completely remote, I can have you sign the e-contract and do a driveway drop off. We do it all the time. Perfect. Um, regarding the marketing, onemancontentmachine.com. If you're interested in having a marketing conversation of how you can make the phones ring without spending any money, I'd love to love to chat with you. So let's talk about why you came out to this event. The level up social club networking event. Why did you come out tonight? What's drawn you to this crew, this group in particular? There's something special going on here. I've been to a lot of networking events. There's an energy here. What's the draw for you? Well, here, if you take a look and see how many people are <laughs> yeah. and look at the environment, let's be honest, it's not really a hard sell. Absolutely. So I went to one of these events in the past and I was excited to go to another one and I'm glad I'm here. I've already I've been here for about an hour and already made some amazing connections and I'm grateful to uh, you know be on your be on your show while you're here too. It's absolutely brilliant. So Alan, I'm asking everyone this: tell us one thing about yourself that would shock us to know. That would shock you. That would shock us to know. There's something about you that you know uh, maybe you're hiding from the world. A talent. You know, uh, maybe, maybe uh, you know, you can do a Rubik's Cube with a blindfold on in 12 seconds or something like that. Maybe you're ranked in chess. Maybe you're a scratch golfer. What is your thing that when folks look at you here on Twitch or on this recording, they go, I can't say that I would have known that about him. Well, you know what? I already, I already kind of spilled the beans on the DJ. My best talent. You may think I'm good at marketing. You may think I'm good at sales. My best talent, truly, is scratching records. That's outstanding. So do you see a business happening with that? Are you going to get back into that business, or are you all entrepreneur, entrepreneur out? Uh, I still do it. I still do five oh, awesome. weddings a year. Perfect. I love it. All right, so here's what we're going to do, Alan. Because we are pals and buddies, and we've been in networking events before, and I support you on social, and you do the same for me, and I appreciate that greatly, we're going to throw you into the hot iron with JMO. Are you down? Sounds good. I'm going to ask you three rapid fire questions. There is no right answer. But as Shar knows, you better get your answers right. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Who is the greatest businessman of all time? The greatest businessman of all time. In your opinion, the greatest businessman of all the time. The greatest businessman of all time. The greatest businessman of all time, according to Alan Love Stern. Him him? I'd say Donald Trump. Donald Trump! Oh, we got a Trump fan. We're going to get canceled or we're going to get double the fans. I don't know who's listening to the show. Hey, love him or hate him. Love him or hate him. He's a polarizing cat, but I tell you what, the guy knows business. All right. So who is the most famous or successful person in your phone right now? In my phone? On the Rolodex. On the Rolodex. Jonathan Dawson with Cell College. Jonathan Dawson, that's the answer. And what does Jonathan Dawson do? How's this man so successful? He owns a massive, massive training company called Cell College, which teaches the psychology of sales. And he is Cell a College. And a top producing car sales mastermind. Look at us dropping brands right now. We're giving him promotion. All right, final question. Are you ready? Yep. What is the best pizza in the world? Best pizza in the world? Fornarosa, right here in the West Loop of Chicago. Fornarosa, that is correct! You are a winner, the crowd goes wild! The crowd goes wild! All right, cheers, Alan. Appreciate Great it. to see you, brother. Thanks for coming out, we appreciate it very much. Wow, we are on fire right now. We're meeting people from all different types of industries. This place is lighting up. Holy cow, the people look amazing here. They're having a great time. There's conversation after conversation happening. It's clear. 
that this networking event is something special. You got to join them every when every second Wednesday of the month. They are hosting a social event next month. It's going to be at the Chalet in Chicago. We've got another fantastic human being here joining us today. What is your name, sir? Tell us what your name is. Lean into that mic so we can hear you. You're live on Twitch. You got to scoot in and get on that mic. Right. The crowd is loud. You got it. You got volume. You got no volume. How about now? Good. No volume. Yeah, more. More. You're on two. How's that? He's back, baby. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Doing great. How are you? Great. Tell us your name. My name is Rob, and I'm, uh, I'm here shooting photos and videos for Level Up. Rob is shooting videos and photos, and obviously he's not taking pictures of me because he likes to take quality pictures. Hey. He likes good-looking people. All these people here at the networking event are certainly that. Rob, tell us about uh, the brand you represent and the passion that you have to serve your clients. Yeah, so um, I, uh, I represent myself. Um, That's a good brand. Here. Um, meeting with people and kind of telling them what I do and what I do is I tell stories uh, I capture moments I capture events um, and the idea is just to capture the essence and be able to share with other people they can see what's going on and, and hopefully maybe for this event in particular come out and, you know, and see for themselves you know you don't always have to tell a story for your brand verbally sometimes you can tell a story and it's better than what you could write in copy and it just is a fantastic picture that can be interpreted in so many different ways by multiple personality types. It can tell the same story, but be embraced by people in a different way, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, you nailed it. That's the goal. That's the goal. So how long have you been doing that? Um, I mean, I've been taking pictures my whole life, um, but professionally and, and kind of proactively the last five years, six years. Yeah. I actually, I actually don't know. Uh, something what gave you the guts to say, I'm going to go on it, I'm going to go do it on my own, I'm going to start my own business, and I'm going to take this to the next level? Um, you know, it, it's just important. Um, we're, we're currently living in a time where I feel like people are just stumbling into a role. Um, it's not necessarily the role that as a kid, you know, when your teacher asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Yes. And... There's something about that, you know, who's to say that if you want to be an astronaut, that you can't be an astronaut? The answer is, is you can. And it's just about being proactive, taking a risk. You got to put the work in. Yeah, honing in on your craft, practicing, and just doing it. I think that's an important thing because there's, you know, there's a lot of messaging out there that people can be anything that they want to be, but that doesn't mean that you get to just wake up and be that. You got to get up and put the effort in. You got to put in the time. You got to dedicate yourself. And uh, so, what has what has been the most difficult thing that you've run into as you've gone on this journey to be a, a solopreneur? Um, that's an easy answer. It's, it's myself. You, your you know, own personal limitations, getting yeah, out of your own way. It's yeah, myself or fear. Fear is my enemy. Yeah. I think it's most people's enemy, and until you acknowledge that, it, I hate to say it, but fear kind of uh, kind of wins that battle every time, and it's just realizing that I would rather look back on my life knowing that I did something that I enjoyed, and then instead, what you see a lot, and this might just be my personal experience, but you see it a lot, is a lot of people look back and tell younger generations, don't do this because this is what I did. Yeah, that's great. I appreciate you passing on the information, but at the end of the day, if you just did what you wanted, who knows the you way might be you know, satisfied. Came out. There, yeah. There's a really good quote by Steve Harvey. He says, every person is born with a parachute on their back and you're standing at the edge of a cliff. Most people don't jump, but if you ever want to know what it feels like to fly, you need to take that leap. And it's in faith. It comes in faith. Wow. You trust in yourself. If you ever want to know what it feels like to fly, you got to take that leap. Tell us, uh, what is the biggest differentiator, do you think, between you 
and another organization that does something similar. What stands out? What are some of the positive attributes that you bring to the table that make you unique, that make you uh, successful, and make you uh, create delight, if you will, for your clients? Um, I mean, I would say that it's just my understanding of myself. And it might be a theme, it always comes back to myself. It's, you know, I, I know the way that I perceive things and, the, and what I like to see and, and what I appreciate in life. And I think inherently most people feel the same way. They just may, may or may not know how to express it. So when I, you know, sign a contract or do a job, it's, they might not even know what they're looking for, but I know what they're looking for. Absolutely. And I think it's written in, in, in most people. Not everyone's the same, but we share a lot of similarities. And I'm not sure why, it, I haven't figured this out yet, why people, it's so hard for people to realize that, but I think once you can break out of that way of thinking and say, you know, I can literally do anything I want, or I can tell the story, or I can capture this moment, it's, it's it, it, I, I might keep saying this, but it's just about doing it. And I, I understand that, and I'm able to... Uh, well, that's great self-awareness, and I think it's a really important message for people listening out there that, you know, uh, sometimes that voice in your head is telling you not to or telling you the wrong thing or giving you the wrong guidance. And in many cases, you've got you've to fight that voice. You've got to fight that imposter syndrome, and you've got to work through that and take that leap, and then you'll fly. So uh, other than coming out here to take amazing photos and to make us all look beautiful and to create fantastic content for the Level Up social networking events crew. What's the draw to this event? I mean, listen to the energy here right now, right? And you're going around and you're getting to see people interacting. That's got to give you a rise in itself. But what's the draw for you in coming out to an event like this? Um, so, I mean, it's really what brought me out to begin with and, and what keeps bringing me back is a trend that I'm noticing is people are becoming less social. It might seem more social on internet, on the internet, but actually going out and putting yourself in uncomfortable positions. I love it. Running into people you've never met, may may or may not have anything in common with, and then finding that common ground. And it's really about, for me, it's about pushing myself into discomfort and seeing what happens. And at the end of the day. It, it ends up working out and this event in particular part of it is it's during the week and at least during the winter times not much gets done for me um, in the winter during the week and to yeah. be able to get out meet people go to places I've never been to meet the people that own the place and, and just interact and be be a human and I think uh, the level up events put people in uncomfortable positions but what comes out of that is something way greater <clears throat> well, I think that could really resonate with a lot of people. The idea of becoming uncomfortable or becoming comfortable with being uncomfortable is the way that you expand your horizons. It's the way that you grow and it's the way that you take things and you level up. Kind of like the level up social networking event. Look at what we just did there. All right, I'm going to throw you into something we call the hot iron with JMO. Are you ready? I don't know. I'm going to ask you three rapid fire questions. Right. There is no right answer, but you better get your answers right. And... We're going to have a little fun. Are you ready? Right. And a one oh. and a two. What band or performer would you die to see at Wrigley Field and meet backstage? There's a band that I encourage everyone listening to go look up. The name of the band is Sleep Token. Sleep Token. You got it. Sleep Token is a band that I, uh, I went to another show to see somebody else, and they actually opened for the opener, and they changed my life. So... Hopefully Sleep Token will hear this one day. Sleep Token is the answer. Sleep Token, send him some tickets and get yourself Thank out you. to Wrigley so this guy Please. can get backstage. All right, you ready? What is the best promotional product you've ever received from a brand or from a giveaway or at a networking event like this? Um, that's a tough one, but it's, it's not one in particular, but it's kind of a group of them. It's, it's something that I'll actually use. Yes. Actually, wear, and I don't want to put any anything down, but sometimes you get stuff that you take it. It's and trinkets it up, and trash. Everyone has that one drawer in their house. Yes. <laughs> so 
So anything that doesn't end up in that drawer that I actually find practical use for. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Buyers of promotional products for brands. You don't want to end up in the junk drawer with your logo on it. You want practicality. You want something that's useful and will create maximum brand impressions. Here's the last question. Are you ready? We are in Chicago right now. Cubs, White Sox, or another team? I, I don't or could feel give like a that's damn. A real question. It's the White Sox. White and Sox. Oh tells no! You otherwise, isn't from this city. They're from other places that aren't here. I still love you. I'm a Cubs fan, and yes, he's correct. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. I appreciate it. I hope those pictures. I hope that you use a filter to make me beautiful, if possible. No filter needed. Is there a way? Oh, thank you. I love you. Take a look at Look at this. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for coming out, brother. Appreciate it very much. How much fun are we having right now? This place is crazy. David Horbinko's here taking pictures of me. I feel like I'm behind the, uh, in the cage at the zoo. People are walking by looking at me. I feel like Katie Couric. Do I look like Katie Couric? Kind of a little bit. I feel like Katie. We've got another guest coming on. Oh my gosh, we've got a representative from the one and only sponsor, Modern Dope. Modern Dope. How's it going, What John? is going on? Get these headphones on here so you can hear. It is so backed up. Tell us your name. Can you hear me? You got it? Tell us your name and the brand that you represent and what in the world are you doing here? What's Look up? at this guy. He's beautiful. What's I, going on? I feel like we're at a sporting event. We are. We're making it into a sporting event. Well, uh, the brand is Modern Dope. We're a multimedia group. I'm the owner of the company. The Modern company. Dope, man. That name is just off the hook. How did you come up with that? It kind of just resonated with me. It resonates with me, too. Uh, we're in branding. That's what Club Colors does, and that name is off the hook. There we go. There I want to work on that logo. I saw your promotional products. We got to collaborate. I love that. I actually uh, had the opportunity to throw your logo on the website. Awesome. Since we uh, built that, we're working with Level Up to yes. build the website the past uh, month. So. so tell us about Modern Dope. You're doing all types of different digital marketing, uh, content creation, right. and supporting this fantastic event. But what are what's uh, some of the work that you do that you're really, really proud of that really stands out? What's your solution set, if you will? What's your offering? Definitely, definitely. So. We're tech consultants primarily. Okay. Uh, we focus on web development and marketing and branding. Uh, Beautiful. And, and uh, definitely messaging. So uh, to communicate with uh, your community internally and externally, that's what we focus on. Um, we're just at the bottom of it all. We're hardworking kids from the Midwest that have been in college. Uh, the, the better half of the company, my business partner, she's in the UK. Okay. Uh, we met when we were 18 in college, and uh, we both had a drive for entrepreneurship uh, where we kind of just pushed each other uh, to build relationships with the community. Uh, we worked with uh, restaurants, lawyers, um, nonprofits, uh, just yeah, web building, marketing. It's a very exciting industry yeah. to be in because you meet so many different types Absolutely. of Absolutely. And you really get a chance to become an extension of the brand because you really are. Um, uh, you really are talking to the people that are the stewards of the brand that want to get their message out internally, externally. They want to build culture. Right. They want to make sure that there's consistency of the brand message across the board. And they want to make sure that the internal extends out to the external market and tells that similar story, right? So you're helping Absolutely. people to tell their brand story, Absolutely. which helps them to create demand and revenue and, and all those fantastic so things. So there's the business side of things and there's the brand, right? Yeah, yeah. So something I'd like to uh, think of when, to bridge that gap is we're here to uh, help business owners and just, we're, Modern Dope is about owning your domain. Yeah. Whether it's your brand or your business. If it's your business, you should be as self-sufficient as possible. And that's something that uh, differentiates us uh, for most of the companies is that we want business to be self-sufficient. So when you say self-sufficient, you mean that uh, the, the work that you do, the marketing that you're doing, and the content creation, the web development, all those things, should be able to, on their own, tell the story as if it was a person telling the story. Exactly. I couldn't have said it better than myself. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, um, we are, are what we all uh, are truly passionate about. The core people, the core people in the company, is about building economies of wealth. Okay, it starts with our families, and then it's, and then it goes on to our community. And uh, we just want to be a positive impact on the community. So. Uh, Meeting business owners, uh, building websites, putting walls up online is what I'm really passionate about. 
Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, you got to light your eye, my friend. You're beaming when you talk about it, so I can tell it's a greater purpose for you, and it lights you up, yeah. which is a fantastic thing because you got to love what you do, and that helps people to love what you did, Absolutely. right? Yeah. Uh, so ultimately, what are the the differentiators? There's a lot of folks that do what you do, just like there's a lot of folks that do what we do, right? And yeah. there's a lot of people out here that. You know, they might be talking to somebody that's actually direct competition in terms. But tell us a little bit about what some of the differentiators are that cause you to be unique and stand out so that potential buyers listening to this don't just lump you in to a category. Right. For sure. That's a great question. Our biggest thing is that we believe in fast position. Fast position. Fast position. Position. Yes. Got it. So that's a... Uh, that's a term that uh, Jocko Willings uh, talks about a lot. Yeah. Uh, we like to bring that into the web world, online tech world. Uh, everything we do, all our projects, we're tech consultants for that reason. We're a vibrant community. We're not just a service business. Yeah. We're a community of explorers, adventurers, and scientists. Um, Creative scientists. I, lo I love that. Because you're... You that that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to you're trying to break the noise for your clients. Right, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, just uh, owning your domain, uh, helping businesses with that, uh, and you know all our all the brand side of things, all the proceeds go to uh, communities, uh, uh, you know, organizations in our communities that are having real conversations uh, with the youth. Uh, with the community in general, with uh, law enforcement. Yeah. Uh, so uh, some of these uh, organizations that we have partnered with include NAMI, uh, National Mental Illness Association. Absolutely, that's a great organization. Uh, Prevent Ed, uh, and in Chicago we work with uh, serving people with a mission. So currently we have the stand up. Uh, all the merch is going towards serving people with, with a mission, uh, and their organization in Chicago that uh, gives back to uh, youth uh, development in the community. Well, Modern Dope is obviously led by a very purpose-driven gentleman here, and his better half, as he called it in the UK, I'm sure has similar purpose. Mackenzie Taylor. Oh, Mackenzie yeah. Taylor, what is going on, Mackenzie? Get on Twitch. We wish you were here. She's a real superstar. But your representative here is uh, is telling great stories about you, and he's doing a great job representing Modern Dope and telling that story. What is the hardest thing for you right now, being an entrepreneur? What's the most difficult thing? And I'm not saying that it doesn't mean that you're overcoming it. It doesn't mean that you're conquering it. But what's that kind of thorn in your side that you wish you could just get rid of? That's a great question. Um, like I said, we, we like to get our hands dirty. Uh, we, we're really serious about building a proper foundation in every, any project we get involved in. I don't really know. I think the biggest thing You could have said taxes. <laughs> What are the three biggest things? Isn't that one of them? Yeah, that would be one of them. <laughs> right, right. Uh, but no, yeah. Um, most of the time, you know, we're there to uh, we're there to get the job done. So most of the time, I'm waiting on people to, you know, yeah, uh, make the move. So we're we're ready. We're moving. We're, we move quick. We put the Level Up website within a week. Uh, I don't think it's beautiful. I just saw that. it. The Level Up website looks fantastic. Right. Looks really premium. It's very good. Most importantly, you know, we we want our community to be fit and mentally stable and yep. healthy and be able to have a build a great community together. So. Let's be honest. These folks at Modern Dope, they want to make a profit, but they don't want to make a profit because of you. They want to make a profit with you because you are profiting. And it sounds like they also want you to feel really damn good about yourself and be healthy and uh, and have a great experience. So you truly understand the idea of branding and you're doing it for yourself and it's fantastic. We are going to jump into the hot iron. You want to do the hot iron with me? All right, let's go. This let's is go. the hot iron with JMO. I ask you rapid fire questions. All there right. is no right answer, but you better, better get your answer right. And it's just fun. Why not? Branding should be fun. A podcast should be fun. You ever hear podcasts that are just boring as hell? I don't listen to those. Well, yeah, exactly. We're trying not to do that. So hopefully you'll listen in the Club Power by Club Colors from now on. Here we go. We're throwing you into the hot iron. Here we go. And a one, two, three. Can you imitate any celebrities? And are you willing to give it to us right now? Oh, man. You got to do Trump. He's doing Trump. Bigly. He's doing Trump bigly. I love it. That is correct. That's the second Trump answer that we've gotten so far tonight. Trump, 
love him or hate him, he knows branding. People it's remember. It's easy. You make the square. You got to do the thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. Who is the greatest business person of all time? Oh, that's a loaded question. Uh, you can say yourself. No, man. <laughs> not at all. Uh, then say me. The greatest <laughs> business person of all time. Um, Woo. It's loaded. I mean, the first ones that come to my mind are... Uh, Everyone hates these people, I feel like. It's all right. <laughs> Elon Musk is the one that stands That out. is correct. The man's damn near an alien, but he's... How many businesses does he have? He's the richest man on Earth. Very strange person. But Very strange. Man, yeah. But you know what? He does have some purpose to him, too. Absolutely. We're We're unclear exactly how consistent that purpose is sometimes, but he does have purpose. There's right. no doubt about it. Right. Other than Michael Jordan, who is your favorite Chicago athlete of all time? Oh, man. I'm from St. Louis. I just moved uh -oh. here a year ago, so let me think about that one. All right, you know what? I tell you what. Give us your favorite St. Louis athlete of all time. Oh, that's Kurt Warner. That's Kurt Warner, great answer. I would have said Albert Pools. Being Pools a Cubs fan, there, I was always sure. jealous of him. Absolutely. Kurt Warner, great He's answer. That had to be painful when they moved. Definitely. It had to be painful. Definitely. It has not been painful speaking with you today. I'm a Bears fan now. A Bears fan. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Ladies Thanks and gentlemen, me. check out Modern Dope. We know that you have needs. We know you want to go digital. We know that you want to make the best brand impression that you can. Check the fine folks out at Modern Dope. Let's get with it. Well done. Cheers. Be well. Can you feel the energy in this place? It is off the hook. Holy cow. Music is blaring. People are drinking. We're going to have another, uh, another guest joining us here. Oh my gosh. How are you? How wonderful. Nice to meet you. My name is John Morris. How are you? We're going to go on mic two here. So we're going to drop down mic three. I mean, we have two guests coming on or one? We got two? All right. She's text messaging. She's making a TikTok as we speak. She's doing a voiceover TikTok as we speak. Can you believe this? We are live. Right now, we are on Twitch. Ladies, say hello on Twitch. Hello, hello. Hello on Twitch. We're recording here. I was going to do a TikTok live, but I just ran out of time. So flip that headphone. Flip that earpiece. There you go. Flip this. There you go. There you go. Now you're good. See, that's what happens when you do things live. You never know. But you pulled it off. You look fantastic doing it. Now let's get you on mic three. You're here. All right. Tell us who you are and what brand you represent. Yeah. Hi, Holly. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, and I'm Carolina Romero. I'm the director of Influencer Marketing. Awesome. Well, gosh, you should be making a TikTok then. I know. I should. This should not be a nerve-wracking experience for you right now being on a podcast. We have a CEO and a director of, of Influence Marketing. This should be easy peasy. Oh, exactly. I'm John. You're making us nervous over here, though. There's a strong chance that we're just going to start our own show from here on out. This is fantastic. Well, I was texting my people to come and take some videos of us for our TikTok. Actually. Let's go. I want to be on your TikTok right, channel. So tell us about the brand that you, you, you're you a founder as well. Tell us about the brand that you started. What's the brand purpose? What are we doing to just dominate the world? Absolutely. Well, I just want to say happy International Women's Day. Oh, my gosh. Shame on me for not saying so. So I built social like media on four pillars. Women in business, women empowering women, small businesses, and local businesses. So I started Social Light Media in June of 2020. Okay. We are a full-service digital marketing agency. We specialize in social media, influencer marketing, content creation, all the good stuff, website design, SEO. But I came from a sports background. Really? So I uh, started in June 2020, mid-pandemic. So I went from... Which is a perfect time to take a risk and start a business. You know, so uh, we have some guts, apparently. Here, here we are. Silver lining of the pandemic. I yeah. know sports took a hiatus. I was at a network. I was living my dream job that I thought. I was working with all guys, and then I was like, you know what? Let's get a change. Let's have yeah. a change. Now there's 15 of us. We're mostly all women team. We're That's based awesome. in Chicago and Chicago's West Loop, and um, we are, we're having a lot of fun building an empire. This is outstanding, and you're a sponsor for this event. Can you? Can you believe the energy in here right now? Oh this is God. not your everyday networking event. Oh, no, it is not. We actually run a 
on the social media for Level Up. So every person who is tagging the account, we're seeing how much energy that they are capturing. We're sending that out, reposting it to the world to see. This I is love such it. an amazing event. What are some of the biggest challenges right now that you are seeing in social influence these days? Oh, ooh, social influence. I would say just the different platforms that they have right now. Everyone's moving on to TikTok, Facebook, mm -hmm. Pinterest. All these new apps are coming out. So it's just keeping on top of the trends, really. So the, trend, the trends on TikTok are elusive. Yeah. And they rapidly change. And the minute you think that you're onto one, the damn thing changes. That algorithm, exactly. it's like throwing a dart with a blindfold on. My gosh. Exactly. So what tips might you have for uh, proper utilization of algorithms as it relates to, let's say, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn? Like, they're all different algorithms, so there's a different cadence. What would be the cadence that you might use for the three different pillars there? This might be shocking, but I would say just sticking to your true self, be your authentic self that picks up the most traction on TikTok. You know, nowadays people don't want to see everyone showing off and showing those unrealistic things. They want to relate to the audience. They want to relate to the content creator. So I would say definitely be yourself, pick your niche, and you'll go far. I absolutely love that. Authenticity, vulnerability. That answer is correct. You can't lose there. What have been some of the, the most... Uh, uplifting and prideful moments that you've had in your entrepreneurial journey? Oh my goodness, that is so hard. Um, so Caroline has been with me every step of the way. She is so phenomenal. I think a couple things. One is the growth within the team. There's 15 of us now. Everybody started really during the pandemic. They all went through a shift in their life, losing a job, becoming part of a startup. That take a, it takes a risk and a level of belief in where we're going. Yeah. And seeing that passion through the entire team has been incredible. And then the businesses we work with, we work with small mom and pop shops. That's where we started. Mm -hmm. We love seeing the growth. It's exciting. They get excited. Everything like that, it's been so amazing. And then meeting people at events like this. It's these Fantastic. These stories. You see where they came from. We work with a lot of nonprofits as well, and that's been so rewarding to get involved with and hear people's stories. And, and, and you know, you get to reflect back at yourself and you know, see where you came from, but then also how you can give back. And hearing everybody's stories really kind of keeps you grounded. There's a lot of inspiration here, but a common theme for all of the guests that has come up here is purpose. There's a lot of purpose that's rolling through this through this group and the folks that we've interviewed so far, so you're very consistent in that. And you're kind of mama bear, right, to a group of a group of cubs that are dominating the world and they're they're growing into themselves and they're taking themselves next level and you're at the top of that and that's got to be so inspirational and fantastic for you but i got to tell you what is amazing story that you have as well as you're dealing with small to mid-sized businesses and in a year and a half two and a half years three years where am i what month is it let's say three years or three months two and a half years we'll go there it doesn't matter it's a live show who cares we'll cut this in editing anyways uh it's pretty uh, a pretty inspirational story for you to tell a small to mid-sized business owner who maybe doesn't understand the power of content creation, digital marketing, and really uh, influence. And you can prove to them that you've done it for yourself. And you can tell that story and say, look, the formula works because we did it ourselves. What are some of the biggest objections that you might get from the marketplace where maybe they have that fear or they're afraid or they don't know how to control their message? What are some of the objections you might get that you want to squash right now? Right, exactly. Well, I'll pass this on to Carolina, but I will say that influencer marketing is such a new industry. And it really is. There is a lot of people who are hesitant about it because they just don't know. But Carolina, I'll let you. Yeah, definitely. So like you said, there are a lot of objections. I would say one of our biggest objections is definitely influencer marketing, and that is the department I run. A lot of people are like, why would I, you know, give this product? Why would I give this person all of these things and then just trust them that they are going to bring me sales? Yeah. But luckily, over time, we've, we've created this amazing formula, especially for restaurants, called a Restaurant Revival Program. Love and it. we have analytics to show and prove. And these influencers are really, you know, saving, saving the world. So what's next? You built this crew up. Are we continuing to scale? Do you like the size of the organization right now? Or are you are you going for, are we doubling sales? Is that what we're going to do? Oh, yeah. We're, we are continuing to grow. That 
the world is our oyster. I think what's so inspiring and so powerful is how many people resonate with us and how many people are excited to join the team. Yeah. We just had our internship application open. We got 250 applicants. Oh my and gosh. Every cover letter is like, I read about you and you're about, and I get that, and I want to be part of that. And so I think on that aspect, there's so many people who share that value. And then there's so many businesses that can utilize and benefit from some of the Boss Babes of Business, and it's for women entrepreneurs, similar to this event, but think about 90% women, and everybody is excited about what they do. I would, I would be, uh, I would be very nervous to that event. <laughs> Powerful women are intimidating. Let's be honest. Well, They're yeah. often way smarter than me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Women in business and women who are excited to talk about what they do and are proud of it. You light up when you talk about that. That's a great purpose. You light up. Um, I would like to have a little bit of fun here, if you don't mind. Okay, let's I have go. I have a hashtag on uh, TikTok and on our podcast. We call it the Hot Iron with JMO. It's rapid fire questions. They're off the wall. They make no sense. They're completely crazy. Uh, but it gives us an understanding of. Who is steering the ship and what is some of the personality that you have behind the brand, right? Because we know about products and services. By the way, we've got the leaders here at Socialite Media. Check them out. I looked at their site. I looked at their table. This is premium, right? This is the Ferrari of the industry, okay? This is not, they're not mass marketing, okay? This is boutique specialty work, premium work. This is like putting on the nicest shoe that you could put on, right? That's what we're talking about. It's like maximum comfort. So let's see the personalities behind that, because I think based on the smiles, we've got some vibrant personalities. And we're going to try and keep it Chicago focused a little bit here, because we are in Chicago after all. Are you ready? Who's ready? Are, are we going? We're ready. I think we're ready. All right, here we go. This is the Hot Iron with JMO, and away we go. Best pizza in the world or best pizza in Chicago? Luminati. Luminati's. That is correct. Luminati's. There is no other answer. By the way, Luminati's, for this sponsorship, feel free to sell me free pizza anytime you would like. Thank you very much. What band or performer would you die to see at Wrigley Field and meet backstage? Um, Adele. Adele. That is a great answer. Lana Del Rey. Oh, too cool. You guys are cool. You're cool. I would have said the Rolling Stones, but I'm old. You can see the gray in the beard, right? That's what it is. I would have said the Rolling Stones. All right, here we go. What is What brand has the best TV commercials of all time? That's a tough one. I like Ford. I don't know. I like Ford? Oh, my gosh. This is why we ask these questions, because I would never have guessed that you would have said Ford. Are you driving an F-150? I should be. You should be. You got to get a rig on that thing, though, like the big tires, man. Lift kit. Lights underneath. Four-wheeling. Absolutely. Big bass speaker in the back just bumping. That's so you. <laughs> Right, pink. Right, right pink. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go. We gotta really make it You're pink. all about a women. I mean, come on. Pink is the color. Middle, my wife, everything in my wife's closet is hot pink, I think. Uh, Pink's the color. Does she want to join social media? She might. She might. Although, although I don't think she likes social media. At least she doesn't like mine. I know that. <laughs> I'll change that when she comes to our boss babes event. I love it. She is a boss babe, too. She's a uh, Batman pajama. She'd bye. fit in well with you. <laughs> all right. So, what's the answer? I love a good Dior perfume commercial that has some nice romantic story behind it. All right, so expensive taste. Nicole, where's Nicole? Nicole, who you met, I asked the same question to her and she said Tiffany and Company. Ooh, and I was like, commercials too. whoever you are dating is in for it because <laughs> you got some taste, holy cow. All right, so let's, let's wrap it up here. From your perspective, from your seat, 
Give us three things that you want the world to know right about right now about Socialite Media, the differentiators, the magic sauce. Why should they reach out to you? And uh, clearly they should. But why? Let's tell them why. One, everybody is like family to us. We have 30 clients right now. Each person is like family, and we love that. Most of our clients are referrals, so that's got to say something. That that's the best. Right. That's the best way to gain business. the same goal. If you're not succeeding, we're not succeeding. So we want to succeed together on both platforms. The class and character and the purpose-driven focus at this event right now is blowing my mind. I'm not shocked because I'm looking at these people and they are so put together. They are so polished. And what a fantastic mission. Congratulations. You have a fantastic organization. And look forward to seeing you, I don't know, maybe like with a Super Bowl commercial at some yeah. point. Maybe maybe you could collaborate with Ford on a commercial. We're manifesting. Ma I love it. Let's Ford let's let's Ford visualize. Ford. I'm finding my chi. Here we go. So nice Thank to meet you. you. So much, Sean. Congratulations yeah. on the business. Keep it up. That is Socialite Media. My gosh, are you kidding me? Like you don't want to work with these people? For God, look, are you on Twitch? Look at the smiles on these folks. They are off the hook. The Level Up Social Networking event is live. I mean, it is live and on fire. It is packed. It is, it is cap? Is that what you said? Packed. Packed. It is packed. It is packed. We appreciate you so much. In the Club Power by Club Colors is live at the Gold Coast Social. We're having a blast. Nicole, are you going to join us at some point here? We're going to go on a short break. That's great because I need a beverage. Thank you. Follow at that. social yeah. media, social light media. I would imagine they're all over social. Yeah, you got that right. That would make sense. Dominating. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. And happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. Cheers. We've got some fantastic ladies up here. Happy International Women's Day. Thank you. So we've got Jamie and Jenny on. Tell us where you're from, what brand you represent, and uh, what brings you out tonight. Yes, well, thanks for having us. Um, I know Spike, he refers to me as the OG. So when um, he started at Level Up, I've been around. And um, I'm from Chicago. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And my brand, I'm actually in real estate. Okay. So I'm a transacting broker as well as a newer podcast host myself. Right on. What is the name of the podcast? It's Jamie and Jenny. Jamie, well, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Jamie and Jenny, are you on Apple, Spotify? Yes. YouTube? I don't know about the YouTube. No, you don't know about the YouTube. Well, you, you've got the good voices, so we're, we're good know. there. Yeah, you got All good right. voices. So tell me about what a transactional realtor would do. What's the difference between that and a... And a Someone that actually works. <laughs> what you so, so what you're talking about is you close deals. That's right, I'm a closer. You're a closer. A why, why am I not shocked? I don't know, why are you not shocked? Is red the company brand? No. The, the company color? No. You're just coming out full fire today? You I'm coming in and coordinate this, but this is natural. Just we natural? Just, we just do this, we have a vibe, yeah. Right on. Jenny, tell me what it is that you do. I work with Wind Trust Mortgage. Okay. Oh, I see the partnership that's Absolutely. happening here. See it? We've right, got the on. yin and yang of that's your next right. home. That's right. Absolutely. I'm licensed in all 50 states. Wow. And I also speak Spanish. So. Congratulations. We are more than just the United States of America. We also do outside um, investment. So there has been some conversation that the real estate market is going to be a little shaky, or maybe it is shaky. Is this just hearsay? Is this a bunch of hogwash? What would you advise somebody uh, like myself, let's say, that's a complete novice? Talk to me like I'm six years old. You don't marry the rate. You marry your home. Got it. You can always refinance. You take the rate and marry the house. That's right. Got you can it. Always refinance. I think to to scare yourself. So if you love it, get it. Absolutely. You should never be afraid of an opportunity. 
because you can always adjust it later on down the road. Well, let's face it, because people can't stop things that happen in their life, right? Children that are born, you outgrow, you got to downsize. You can't stop those happening yeah. in your life. Yeah. So you have to go with the flow. So it's everything is cyclical. Real estate's always been cyclical, and yet it's still the safest investment to this day. If you look right. at anyone who knows anything about investment, they will say real estate all day long. Is owning a home still the American dream? I think say? having equity is probably the most val one of the most valuable things that I believe is part of the American dream. That's really a different way to look at that. I think that's a great answer because that's really what it's about. I don't know that it's the four walls of the Correct. building. I think it's it's the fact that you have something that you could leverage. Well, think about it. You're going to own something regardless. So you're either going to pay your landlord's note or your note. Right. So wouldn't you rather just put, like Jenny said... Who do you want to make money for? That's right. You. Yeah. And why not use the money that you've spent to invest it again and again and again? There you go. What's the most helpful, Jamie, what's the most helpful... Holy cow, I didn't realize those pants. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pants. Can we get these pants on camera? <laughs> She's rocking leather pants. My gosh, you're like a rock star. I feel like I'm, I'm meeting with a rock you're star right now. My you're, you're underdressed. God, I am underdressed. <laughs> I should have wore socks today. Yes, you should have. Oh, my God, I hope you're wearing socks. <laughs> I am I'm wearing socks. I, I have boots so on. Come on, I'm a, I'm a classy man, except for I'm not. I know that. Actually, I'm glad you didn't mention that because I do get this comment several times today. And it's just who I am. And it's, I'm unapologetically me. It's and you sh not. There is yeah, no apologies. You, where's my it. bell? Yes. yes. No I apologies. You Listen. rock those. You rock that outfit, yeah. both not of you. Many people can pull off leather pants, and she does it very well. Oh, I, I couldn't put them on, much less pull them off. <laughs> my gosh. It's kind of fun. Especially, <laughs> especially if you don't have socks on. Exactly. Like, I mean, the no sock thing, though. But. All right, so let's yes. give our listeners a little bit of magic here, a little bit of helpful tips. Yeah. Sure. Give us a little secret sauce. I'm going to start with you, Jamie. What's some secret sauce? What should we, what should we be thinking when we're going through that process and we're shopping that maybe the everyday person doesn't think, and that's the reason why your clients love you? Exactly. Well, I'm glad you said that. My clients do. Can you hear me? I got the voice. I know, but we, we got to hear it. All right, hear me? <laughs> so the reason I, I believe that my clients do love me, I keep it real. First okay. and foremost, I do not sugarcoat. You got to keep it real. You got to let, yeah. let them know expectations, realistic expectations. So it's about having that great communication, really getting to know what they want, what makes them tick. Mm -hmm. Because that's not the same for everyone. And uh, we work with a whole, array, uh, a whole array of people from first-time home buyers to luxury home buyers. And so you're not a salesperson, you're a trusted advisor. Well, 100%. I really don't believe that. I mean, I'll knock on any door and they'll point to no solicitation. Yeah, sure. And I'm not a solicitor. I, I just tell people when, I, when they say that I can't read. <laughs> no, I get that, and yet at the end of the day, my, what I usually say, they say, well, you get paid based on your purchase price, right? Mm -hmm. Commission. We're commission-based. And I said, listen, all day long, if you're in your home and you're upset with what you purchased, you are not going to refer me. If yeah. you cannot afford to buy steak. Yeah, you don't make a living cereal, selling one house. A hundred million percent. So I'm all about referral-based. Mm -hmm. So um, back to your question, what people really love is the trust I'm extremely responsive. I do not hide from my phone, even when the when the news is tough. You can always yeah. get a hold of me. And um, I'm Jamie from the block. So Jamie from the block. Let's go. All right, Jenny from the block. Yes. Tell us your secret sauce. What is? Well, give us a little bit of a, a an understanding of maybe what your differentiator is. There's a lot yeah. of folks out there that do what you do. They're not wearing a red satin jacket. That's I for know sure. They're not. Just saying. Not, they're not pulling that off, but there's a lot of people that have a role like yours that do That's what you right. do. There's a lot of people in the Chicago area. I can call a lot of people. Absolutely. Why am I calling you? So a couple of reasons. You know, from a lending perspective, it's easy to get somebody into a loan that is convenient for themselves. Got it. That's not how I operate. And I'm licensed in all 50 states, which is a huge advantage. A lot of lenders do not know the knowledge of all of the products out there to really engage not only in their rates and their payments, but also the down payment programs that they may qualify for 
that other lenders don't offer. I take the time to not only educate them on what is available, but also building their credit. If they're on the cusp, especially in this market, if you're a 680 and you can build your credit up 40 points. So you're going to advise somebody I, on things they can do to get their credit up? Absolutely. Because you know what? Those 40 Most people points, in your role are just going to be like, you're not qualified. No, Beat it, nerd. No, they're just going to stick them in whatever they qualify at yeah. the time rather than building their credit up. That's a difference maker. Can so I, I ask mean, you? it's more home. Yes. Are they going to refer you if you do that? No. Once they figure out. These are career women. These are women yes. that are trying to sell more than one house. They're trying to build an empire, which means they have to work on referrals. It's the best marketing tool ever yes. is somebody else telling the story of how brilliant you are. <laughs> Congratulations, and I love this. We're, yes. We are continuing on this path yes. here at the Level Up social networking event. We're just about, I should actually strike that. Every person that I have talked to is purpose driven. They are far more than transactional. Yes. They're far more than making a living. They're trying to change your life for the better. Let's and they'll go. win when you win. That's how they roll. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. So now let's get personal. Let's level let's up. Personal. Let's, let's level, level up. up. We're about we to get personal. Together? We're going to level up together right now. We're let's getting personal. Go. Because, you know, people now know what your products and services are. But I want to know who's steering the ship. Let's go. Yeah. So I want to know right now. Tell me something. Each of you tell me something that would shock the world shocking. to know about you. You want to go first? No, you go ahead. All right. So what's shocking about me is that I had my first child at 21. Okay. My 20 so two years ago. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, at 21 years old, at that moment where my son came out, the one thing I told myself is I'm never going to give up because I want him to reach higher than me. So, what is your son's name? Damian. Damian? Yes. Your mommy is special. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, Jamie. You're not oh, telling girl. me something? Hi, oh, girl. There's, there's, I don't know what would really shock many people. As you, I mean, I do wear the You already pants. shocked us with the leather pants. <laughs> not a lot of people can pull that off. You're like Britney Spears. <laughs> we found Britney Spears. She was lost. She's right here selling house. Right. It's Britney, bitch. Britney, bitch. Exactly She's an American you treasure. Britney Spears is an American treasure. Really Let's is. just be honest. I am an Absolutely. American treasure. You are an American treasure. Yes, All right, I so am. shock us. Oh, so the shocking part. Um, a lot of people don't know. I mean, if we're going to stick it with the the, the children aspect. Let's I, make us cry. I, I am a single mama of four. Of four? Yes. Wow. Yes. What is that like? It's kind of shocking, right? It is shocking. It's fantastic. It is. Yeah. But it's shocking. It's shocking because I have three kids, and I'm, I'm married, and my wife and I are great partners, and it's very difficult to play zone defense and get three kids in different places, sometimes at the same time, yeah. travel, sports, yeah. all this stuff. How do you do it? You have a great network of friends and family yeah. around you, or I you're mean, just... What, what do you do? You've got to tele you teleport children to different places? You have a helicopter. Is that what's happening? I, I really think I should. <laughs> um, you know, in all honesty, I um, we talk about this all the time. I'm very good at scheduling. I prioritize my priorities, and um, I don't sleep much. <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't want that to be lost on the audience, what you just said. I prioritize my priorities. Yeah. That's next level prioritization. Oh, what do you know about it? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I, I'm surprised I'm here. We actually talk about it on the podcast. I just did a podcast yesterday um, and speaking about that because I always said if I had a dollar for every time I was asked, I don't know how you do it. Yeah. How do yeah. you do it? You're so resilient. You're such a bounce back. Well, in one case, you're human and you're strong and you don't have a choice. 100%. Right. Okay, right. so that's right. partly how you do it. But, yeah, but let's face it, there's right? also a world around you that's spinning really fast that's crazy right now. Yes. Right. And uh, there's four, four uh, human beings with personalities and different wants and needs that are all looking to you to say, how am I going to do that, mama? And you right. got to answer that question and, yes. you know. Giddy up. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to have some fun. Yeah, so because I'm throwing you into the like hot iron, the hot iron by JMO. We're all about branding. Why is my mic so damn low? Know, I'm like sitting. Really, let's, really let's move mics up. Let's move mics up. Let's move mics up. 
Let's get the mic. Can we get him for the tall people? I mean, we right already level up. People. Let's go. Nobody's, level up the nobody's ever called me tall, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, but my posture was loud and low. I know. And I gotta, I gotta, I'm like, I'm I gotta work from the diaphragm. We gotta work yes. from the diaphragm and get the, get the this element. Is, yes, this is more my We're gonna style. elevate right now. Let's do it. So I'm throwing you into the hot iron. This is rapid fire questions. Ooh. There is no right answer, but you better get your answer Let's right. Go. And pretty much it. every answer is correct, and I hit a bell and I make loud noises. I love okay, it. I love it. Okay, here we go. Who is the most famous person, fa most famous or successful person in your phone? My Ooh. phone. Jenny, go first. Um, I think my my most successful person um, would have to be Jay. That is correct. Yeah, it would have to be. Jamie. It's always wise to compliment your partner. Absolutely. Jamie, who's the most successful or famous person in your phone? Um, I actually have a couple government officials. Government officials. I hope we like them. We love them. <laughs> Iffy. 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 Other than Michael Jordan, who is your favorite Chicago athlete of all time? You are rocking okay. Bulls colors, Blackhawk I mean, colors I, right I, now. I, I know. Um, Not my strong point. Listen, I, I've got a couple. I mean, besides Michael Jordan, I'm really a huge Forte fan. Matt Forte was awesome. He Tulane was, University. And I, you know what? I, I'm yeah. also a def defensive lineman fan. I, I love Verlacher. So, yeah. Best jersey ever. The white away yeah, jersey, 54 white jersey away. is one of the coolest jerseys ever. It really is. How about you, Jamie? That's Not a sports a, fan, but it's you know, okay. It's Just okay. wing it. Well, I actually was pretty impressed. I recently, uh, last season, saw the Bears, and I thought Fields would really... Fields. He ran, he ran that ball pretty good. I hope to God and everything really holy that he is as amazing as I mean, every night when I on, pray. I, on. like, pray for my kids. <laughs> I pray for, like... Then my visualization comes true, and then that Justin Fields is as yes. amazing as I, I hope he is. Next to the Southern <laughs> Field, just for the Oh, Bears, well, we'll see you in Arlington Heights I in a couple, couple years. More years. Let's go. <laughs> All right, final question. This is going to be a fun one. What brand has the best TV commercials of all time? Ooh. What brand? What brand? Yeah. Any brand. The lovely ladies of Socialite Media said Ford. The CEO, Ooh, I don't like uh, Ford. she said Ford. I couldn't believe it because That's found on Road Dead Fix or Repair Daily. Yeah, That's what I was brought up. And by. then, and then uh, her 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 uh, social influencing director said uh, Dior, and I went, Ooh, Ooh, Ooh that's a that's a uh, expensive brand. Yeah, you know what? I think for me, I think that the the mental health field, the hers and the his. Is hims, doing and, a, hims and hers. The hims and hers is doing where a you pretty can, good job. Where you can order uh, things that help you Men. without being embarrassed about needing help. One hundred percent. Yeah. You know, I, I'd have to say uh, what comes to mind is the Dove commercials. I, I really, like. I really appreciate the authenticity and just the realness of the women. Like all colors, shapes, sizes, and it's like yeah. all beautiful. That's I fantastic. Kind of think that's I think awesome. one of the best commercials that Dove ran was where. They ran, um, you judged yourself on how the artist drew you. Yes. And then somebody else judged, and it just showed that people always see themselves yes. worse than the world does. And if we could rid ourselves like that. of that yes. mentality, that imposter syndrome that is like a, a status quo cancer that needs to be eliminated. Yeah. Eliminated. Let's We've got to. We, let's something. work on it for God's sake. You know what we need to do? Erase and replace with a new face. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what you know about that? That just became a t shirt we will be printing for you. That we, is a product. Well, we of have TLC. the trademark on it. I, I love just it. want to make sure TLC. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, we don't want no scrubs. Don't go chasing <laughs> waterfalls. But no, we're going to. I mean, it's scrubs because doesn't wear socks, can we say? Exactly. <laughs> I've got blisters right now. Ladies, you've been fantastic. Love Outstanding. It. How does the world of Twitch, and we are recording this, we are going love to post it. this all over I social media. How does the world get a hold of you? Instagram, Facebook. Mine is Mortgage Life underscore Jenny R. J E N N I E R. Mortgage Life underscore Jenny R. Yes. With an I E. With an I E. Not Jenny different. with an I E. G J E N N I E. Let's go. Got it. <laughs> and I'm. I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> you buy the right vowel. Right? <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm Jamie from the block. Like I told you, that's I'm Jamie Block, and that is my Instagram handle. 
as well as my cell phone number, it's 708-655-5000. It's no secret, it's the same as Whole Foods, but I'm 708 <laughs> and there's 630L. So. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that you are in the market to yes. buy a home and we know that you want to do it right the first time. And yes. these are the fantastic ladies that you need to refer to when making the biggest decision of your life. Yes. When you're making that decision, you want to make the right decision. Thank you so much for joining me today on In the Club Power Pleasure. by Club Colors. Thank you Pleasure so much. to meet you. Cheers. Cheers. Good luck to those beautiful children. That's right. Thank you. Dream, believe, achieve. We got this. Awesome. Bye-bye. Folks, this is amazing. The energy continues. I got to tell you, I've been to a lot of networking events. They're not like this. This is the polished crew. We got folks rocking red satin blazers and black leather pants, but making it business professional without even trying. <laughs> Off the hook. We don't try. There is no try. There is no trying, there is no there's trying. only doing. Thank you. <laughs> Jamie from the block. One more. Thank you. One more. We ready? Let's go. All right, folks, we're gonna have one more interview and we're gonna wrap this bad boy up. Thank you so much for tuning in in the Club Powered by Club Colors. By the way, check out Club Colors at www.clubcolors.com. We are a full service brand management firm. Anything you can think of that you wanna put your logo on, we can source it, we can decorate it, we can kit it, we can ship it direct to doorstep. Hello, young man with the beautiful haircut. How are you, sir? Thank you for joining us. Tell us your name and what brand do you represent? Oh, my name's Stel. Lean in there, my friend. That's right. That's right. Uh, my name's Stel Valavanis. I am the CEO of Onshore Security. We're a cybersecurity provider for the enterprise. We do managed detection, we do managed security services, and we are, we are Na national with a tiny bit of international and I just love my hometown and getting out there and connecting with people this is how I built my business that's like beautiful this, like this. right yeah. get out meet the people and as a CEO the fact that you're out here mingling with the crew and making an impression I've been watching here while I am in fact recording I am seeing this whole crew out here, and I've been watching you. You are very active out there. <laughs> You're working the crowd, my friend. You know, I try to keep my cool and just, you know, move like, you know. It's cool to be cool. Careful. But honestly, it, 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 everybody is here. There's a selector. There's a filter. Yeah, there is. Everybody here wants to be here. Everybody here isn't doing the, like, I'm a sales guy. Or their boss didn't things. say you need to go to that. Right. It's just says, this is like, you know what? I'm going to actually participate in the community. And, and I mean, honestly, I, mean, you know, I am not the demographic. I'm kind of, you know, to some extent, I don't know. I'm maybe Too the, young? <laughs> <laughs> but, but this shows you how cool it is. Like, people get that. They're happy to see me here. Yeah. You know, because they, you know, they have work to do, but there's no reason work can't be fun. That's an epiphany for young people. That's an epiphany. Work can be fun. Uh, branding can be fun. How do you make cybersecurity fun, my friend? Man, I need your help. I'm telling you. <laughs> cybersecurity, first of all, it's a blast yeah. doing it. Okay? Sure. But you're it's dealing with people that are pissed off that somebody's... That's right. It is not a blast selling it. You have to be serious. I am... It's an insurance terrified. policy. I try to be funny. And other than the fact that I'm probably just not that funny... It's like, you know, you don't get the right reaction. You know, you know, it's like yeah. you, you have to look serious. And look, my, my core clients are banks, you know. And, and There's I, not a lot of funny I, there, I, my I, friend. Oh, I remember telling, <laughs> you might want to change your pitch. <laughs> I, I had a lunch with a CFO of a bank, you know, one of my bank customers. And he says to me, you know, I said something about that, about being boring. He goes, he goes no, 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 we like boring. You know, we're yeah. I mean, boring. Banks boring. Like boring. Yeah. There's a lot of math with them. So, yeah, I mean, tell me, branding, okay, B to C, I get it, go nuts, yeah, yeah, hard. yeah, yeah, B to B, what yeah. the hell do you do? So, uh, I think the main thing there is to get your internal culture yeah. to extend externally, and that is built by having clearly defined core values that are constantly uh, and repetitiously repeated internally and externally. So. Rather than uh, making your messaging strictly about 
features, benefits, products, services. It's the why factor behind it. This is why we do it. The this is, thing. Yeah, right? this is how it makes us feel. To help you makes us feel this way, which makes you feel that way. I think that that's really the thing that is happening with a lot of decision makers now. They want to know that greater purpose. And the demographic, the younger demographic especially now, we see in the hiring process, they're not as uh, financially focused. They're very much wanting to know that they're having an impact on their clients, on their on society, on the bigger picture. So. That would be my perspective. Uh, there's an opening there, you know? And I'm definitely not doing that. I mean, that's, you know, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, too, what, you don't know what sticks till you try it, too. Absolutely. You know? uh, and, and definitely a struggle, you know, we're a bunch of nerds. And, and getting nerds to be outward in the kind of a community kind of yeah. social media, I mean, Forget it. I might get people having Twitter wars about something really <laughs> esoteric, but that's about it. It's it's, it's kind of on me and it, you know the, the, the people in marketing. Gamify your website. Gamify. Yeah, gamify. You know, technic technical people probably are gamers, right? For sure. Make For sure. it make it very gamified. Make your incentives based on gaming. And you know, I got to tell you. What would be probably really interesting from a branding perspective for an organization like yourself would be um, to bring in uh, people from all different levels of the organization and allow them a voice to dictate what the core values of the organization are. Far too often, uh, CEOs put the pressure on themselves to determine the core values, and it's typically what they want people to be. Core values are what you currently are and get everyone to agree on that. Wow, that's a challenge, my friend. Wow, yeah. okay. okay. So, I get that it's huge value if I can yeah. accomplish that. So bring in five or six of your key people in right, different right. different divisions. Not just management level. Like, yeah, like key, your top salesperson, your top tech person, yeah, yeah. your top, and, and your key executives, but put, the, put it on them. What are our core values? What do we live by? What are our truths? Now you're gonna put your own up there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you get 10 up, and you narrow it down to the five, get full agreement. And then, and then everything that is done, you go. How did that? Re how did that incorporate a core value? Wow! Wow! It's pretty fun. But that's. It's not about us right now. It's about you. Tell me. Tell me about uh, who your demographic is. You said banks. Yeah. Uh, what is the core service? The suite of services. What? It, what? What? Is the ultimate point of entry for you? Who are you really trying to speak to? Who's the decision maker for you? Well, yeah, I mean, so you think about it, like people think cybersecurity is like this from a defense side, okay? There's a red team side, there's a blue team side. Blue team is defense. So from a defense side, they think of cybersecurity as like firefighting, like you're yeah. ready and just like, Ugh, you know? It's not like that. It's really, it's more like accounting. It's more like analyzing yeah. data all the time, like, huh, this activity, look, there could be a threat actor. Let's look at the logs from last week. Let's see that, you know, I mean, you know, there's just... Whatever. So it's triggers. Yeah, yeah, but they're not like triggers, boom. Yeah. They're like triggers. Look into it. This. Yeah. Like clues, huh? There's some smoke there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. And look at, you know, who was it just recently? Like Fox News or somebody said like, oh, turns out we have been, you know, compromised for the last like two months. Yeah. No idea. Right? Like, so, so it's not like we're looking for the moment. Yeah. Okay. And so then if somebody like a bank doesn't want us just to say, okay, you're secure, you know? What they want us to say is... Here's these here's this auditing. There's pending the doom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the, who do they an they answer to regulators? You know, they answer to like an industry, like a, in this bank. It's a, you know, they're, they're each industry different, but in their industry, the kind of like um, you know uh, people who need to kind of tr know, like tr they're terrified, like there's something's wrong, and they, we're not going to find out until it's too late, kind of thing. And in their case, it's regulators. But in let's say federal government contractors, it's like we won't get those contracts. Yeah. There's, you know, compliance standards. Or like in healthcare, like, oh my God, we'll, you know, get nailed on some PII, you know, uh, personal identifiable information, and, you know, those stocks price will collapse, or we'll get fined massively, or we'll get kicked out of a consortium. I mean, it's, there's, there's like a lot riding. Very large existential stuff. Yeah. You know, which wasn't the case with anybody but basically banks up until maybe 15 years and ago. now it's becoming the case with more more sectors yeah not only it's just it's happening to more and to a lot very soon you're going to see it be all because yeah it's because there's going to be because the amount of technology they're dependent on it but the external parties so you might just sell toilet paper but you sell toilet paper to 
You also have intellectual property, and you're also taking a lot of credit card information, and yep, yep. and uh, you also have a lot of employee data. Well, and if you're working with big companies too, by the way, all your exchange, all your interaction happens with yeah. all electronic. You are an open door to the next and next and next step. I mean, the guys that got Home Depot a bunch of years ago, that's a, always a famous one mm -hmm. because it was the HVAC company. They got in through the, so they don't get in necessarily through you. Right. They get in through the people that are weaker that you work with that are not compliant with oh, oh. Uh, the, the regulations oh, that need oh. to adhere this, to. This, this is like spy versus spy. Yeah. You know, it's like the Chinese government or whatever would like compromise one guy because they found out he had some kind of gambling addiction or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that's, it's exactly. So we're going to have social else. scores? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh it's man. coming. Look, it's okay, well, Don't get him started. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we're America, though. We're, yeah. We wouldn't put up with that shit. Yeah. I mean, it's true. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I, mean, I could go way down yeah. the rabbit hole. We're going down the rabbit, rabbit hole. <laughs> All right. So let's let's talk about the three differentiators that you have. Yeah. And then we're going to end with the hot iron. And I'm going to end the damn show. You are closing out the show. You realize that. Wow. I You're the closer. We have officially me. brought in the closer. I can do it. I can do it. You can close yeah. it. So give us the differentiators. What sets yeah, you yeah. apart from all the folks out there that do what you do, other than yeah. the fact that you're a brilliant CEO? I'm a brilliant CEO. I should have said, oh, you got that already. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know, it, 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 uh, honestly, there's a one, a, a really big one, okay? And that is, the, you know, we've been doing this a long time, and most people in the space kind of like jump in buy some tech and say, raise their hand and say, hey, we're doing detection, you know? Very different from us and a handful, you know, we're one of a handful, I would say, I use that term, that like have built their own tech. So like we're leveraging all this kick-ass tech out there, but we got a platform. And that means we're way more advanced, we're way more nimble, we're way more flexible, and we're way better at what we do. I mean, it's just, and, and, and it, they call it tech-enabled service versus an MSSP. So we also have an MSSP business, which is like managed security kind of products for companies. Okay. The main thing we do is manage detection and response, tech-enabled, meaning our platform comes in, it's part of the bundle. You know? Got it. Yeah. So so you are, uh, you're bolting on, uh, and you have the ability to also have a vast array of services where you don't necessarily have to be the bolt-on, you could be the all-in-one. That's, that's right, now from, a from a detection side, from a protection yeah. side. Uh, so there's a whole other world, cybersecurity is very fragmented, there's like many sub-segments. So if you had to say, gee, you know, what, you know, what of the cybersecurity is I'd say, well, pick, it's a one of 10. I mean, it's, it's that fragmented. Uh, but that said, uh, um, yeah, we're uh, managing solutions is our secondary. So we do things like manage firewall, manage like protection systems, mm -hmm. let's say. Those all feed into the detection. Uh, but again, you know, really very few companies in the country who kind of have that approach and it has more to do with maturity than anything else. You know, like, like if they, 10 years from now, they wish they were us. You know? Well, clearly you're successful in doing amazing work because I'm seeing this blazer. This is a fantastic blazer. You look very sharp and you have nice glasses on. And now I'm throwing you into the hot iron. Also, what is, also look at the wallet, my gosh. I'm throwing you into the hot iron with JMO. Are you ready? Oh no. Here we go. These are rapid fire questions. Okay. I'm gonna ask you three questions. There is no right answer, but you better get your answer right. And away we go. Who is the greatest business person of all time? Steve Jobs. Who is the most famous or successful person in your phone currently? Uh, Hugh McLean. Other than Michael Jordan, who is your favorite Chicago athlete of all time? Uh, McMahon. Jim McMahon? Oh my gosh, that's a fire answer. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy has closed it out. We are done in the club. Power by Club Colors is wrapping up. Before we wrap up, tell us how in the world do we get a hold of you and what is the best point of entry to start our business journey with you? Website onshore.com onshore.com go to the website ladies and gentlemen and I want to remind you sir you've been in the club thank you very much uh oh that didn't work let's try that again uh -oh. Uh -oh. that's the beauty of live did yeah, we sound, did sound we lose effect. our holy cow what did we lose like oh I had my volume turned on no that shouldn't have happened Let's try this again. Is it like a barking dog or what is it?
music. No, it's my theme music. Oh, I want to hear that. Is it not working? Live. We came at you live from the level up social networking event. It's been an absolute blast. We're here at the Gold Coast Social Club. Thank you so much to uh, everybody for joining us, and we look forward to putting out another show for you next time. Check us out on Apple, Spotify, and our Club Colors YouTube channel. Once again, if you don't know who Club Colors is, check us out at www.clubcolors.com. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been in the club. Cheers. In the Club is powered by Club Colors. Club Colors is the premium marketing solution for all branded apparel and promotional products utilized to drive your brand awareness and brand success. From concept to doorstep, Club Colors can source over 9 million different product solutions, decorate your logo, create custom kitting solutions, manage all logistics, and build, manage, and curate your company online store the full comprehensive all-in-one solution for your brand. Our brand promise is right solution, right place, right time. Allow Club Colors to create an inspiring brand experience for you and your team. Check us out at www.clubcolors.com.